Java is one of the world's most important and widely used computer language. Now, it is an object-oriented language and is very easy to learn. So naturally, a lot of people, while getting into the world of coding, would want to learn Java. But to write and run Java code, we need to install Java or JDK on our computers first. Hi all, this is Upasna from Edureka and this tutorial is going to be a short and sweet method on how to install Java from its original Oracle repository. So let me quickly take you through the steps that comprise of this tutorial today. First of all, we are going to log into the Oracle website. This is where we are going to download our JDK from. Then we are going to download our exe file from the site, followed by installing it on our systems. And finally, we are going to create environment variables so that we can run the Java that we have downloaded on our systems. Now, Java SE 12 is the latest release for the JDK platform. So what you're going to see from this point onwards is to download the latest version of Java that there is as of July 2019. Also kindly take up this time to go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you never miss an update on all the hottest trending technologies from the Edureka YouTube channel. So without much ado, let's get started. So before installing JDK 12 on our Windows 10 computers, we need to make sure that we are downloading it right. You can open any browser and search for the download Java JDK 12 Oracle and you shall see a screen. This is the official Oracle website. On the left hand side top corner, you will see three short lines stacked on top of each other. That is the menu option. From there, you go to products and then Java and then download Java for developers. That will direct you to this downloads page from where you can download the Java SE 12 installation file. So I'm going to click on this button which has the Java logo on it and it says download. I'm going to click on this. And when you scroll down on this page, you're going to come across a box like this, which gives you a bunch of different options wherein you can download Java. You have three options for Linux, two for Mac, two for Windows. So before you can download any of this, first you have to accept the license agreement. Then it says thank you for accepting the Oracle Technology Network license agreement for Oracle Java SE. Now you may download this software. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this .exe file. Now for anybody who wants to download any Java version above JDK 9, you need to have a 64-bit system. If you use a 32-bit operating system, then you can't install JDK 12 or any version of JDK above JDK 9. So right now you have Java version JDK 12.0.1. We are going to click on this and it's going to start downloading. Kindly be patient. This might take a few moments to download. Once it is done, you can just go ahead and open the download file. And you will come across this wizard for Java SE Development Kit. All you have to do is hit a bunch of nexts. So we're going to start off with this next. And then you can change your installation location. But I suggest you keep it to the default and then click on next again. So Java JDK 12 will start to install. Once that is done, you can go ahead and close this. But remember, by just downloading and installing JDK 12, Java will not work. We need to set up something known as the environment variables. Now, this is something which will help to compile your Java code. And to set up your Java JDK 12 environment variables, all you have to do is follow a few simple steps. You're going to start out by going to C drive open program files and look for the Java folder in it. I'm going to open this up so you can see better. This is my Java folder. Now inside the Java folder, you will find the JDK 12.0.1 folder, the one that we just downloaded. You're going to open this and then go to the bin folder and 
copy the path of this bin folder that you see here. I'm just going to copy this path. After that, go to the control panel of your system. You will go to system and security, system, and then advanced system settings. And then click on this button which says environment variables. And then go to the box which says system variables and then go to the variable whose name is path. Now I'm going to go to edit and here I am going to add a new path which is the path that I had copied before. Now what this is going to do is that when you call in Java, this is the path it is going to point to. So that your latest version of Java which you have installed is the Java version that opens up when you call for Java. Now this is especially helpful if you have other versions of Java installed on your OS like your Java 8 and Java 11 that might have previously been the default folder that was being pointed to when you call Java. Now you want the latest version of Java to be summoned when you call for this application. So yeah, that's it. And you click on OK and OK and you're pretty much done. Now I close all of this. Now to check whether Java is successfully set up or not, you can open the command prompt or CMD and type Java version. And it will show you the Java version that has been installed in your system. As you can see, it says 12.0.1, which is the version that we just downloaded and installed. Then you can type Java C. Now this is the compiler which helps you compile your Java files. If you find a bunch of statements in your command prompt, like the one which are on your screen, then your Java JDK 12 is fully installed and ready to go on your system. With that, I would like to close this session. Thank you and have a great day ahead. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!